हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ अभे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर नाउ आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद माई नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ योर प्लान पैथोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट दैट इज न्यूट्रिशन ऑफ पैथोजन देयर ग्रोथ मेजरमेंट एंड द कल्चर मीडिया सो इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व टाइप ऑफ न्यूट्रिय आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द पैथोजन्स एंड आर्टिफिशली हाउ वी कैन grow a pathogen within in vitro with the help of culture media and how we can measure the growth of the pathogens by the different methods now we are starting with our lecture then what is microbial growth microbial growth refer to as the increase in the cell numbers not in the cell size it just that it reproduce continuously and it produce exponentially and the cell numbers get increased but not the size of the cell bacteria grow and divide by binary fission binary fission is a type of asexual reproduction where the parent cell breaks and divide into two daughter cells and they and rapidly and this is a very simple process a single cell produce two daughter cells now the requirement for the growth how bacteria grows uh, uh, there are some physical requirement just like temperature at the optimum temperatures micro bacteria are grow very well so on the basis of temperature there are different type of bacteria some are having stable growth at low temperature some are at very high some are at moderate temperature so we will see the microbes are loosely classified into several group based upon their preferred temperature range on the basis of their temperature microbes are classified first are uh, the first type of uh, microbes are psychrophiles psychrophiles are called cold loving that is they um, mostly grow over a low temperature that is uh, they can even grow at 0 degree celsius so clear uh, then and on the basis of psychrophiles uh, some are true psychrophiles that Uh, that are sensitive to the temperature about twenty degrees Celsius and optimum growth is at fifteen degrees Celsius or below. Some psychrotrophs in the optimum growth at twenty to thirty degrees Celsius responsible most low temperature and food spoilage. Some bacteria are on the basis of temperature are classified as a mesophiles mesophiles middle loving that is not a very high or not very low temperature at the standardized or at a optimum temperature they worked or they grow including most pathogen common spoilage organism the best growth between 20 to 40 degree celsius optimum temperature 37 degree and they are adapted to body of animals the and the third one is the thermophiles thermo means heat that is they are heat loving bacterias that grow over between 50 to 60 degree celsius and not below the 45 degree celsius they adapted to sunlit soils compo compost piles or hot springs some thermophiles forms extremely heat resistant endospores extreme thermophiles are called hyperthermophiles they can even grow in their optimum growth is at 80 degree celsius or higher just like archi bacteria so they are even able to live in volcanic and ocean vents also some growth rate of bacterial groups you can see here this some as uh, a uh, first are psychrophiles uh, then uh, psychrotrophs then mesophiles thermophile then at last the bacteria who can uh, those can grow uh, grow over high temperature that is more than 80 or in at 80 degree celsius that are uh, hyper thermophiles then uh, next is the uh, first was the uh, temperature next uh, second physical requirement is the heat sorry is the ph ph that is uh, whether they are uh, acidic basic or neutral so most bacteria having prefer neutral ph that is 6.5 to 7.5 just like mold and yeast grow in wider ph but prefer ph 5, 5 to 6 mold are mold and yeast mostly grow over the optimum ph level 
then acidity inhibits more microbial growth and is used frequently for food preservation so alkanity uh, in also inhibit more microbial growth but commonly used for pre preservation food preservation then acidic products of bacterial metabolism interfere with growth buffer can also can be used to stabilize ph then ph on the basis of ph organism are classified into acidophils neutrophils and alkali fills that is the organisms that are acid loving that is having ph less than 5 or or from from 0 to 1 to 5 that are acidophils then neutrophils having neutral ph that is 5.4 to 8.5 then uh, alkali, uh, alkali fills that is alkali loving that is uh, those grow at alkaline or high ph that is 7 to 12 so like a soil bacteria macrobacterium grow at ph 12 then third physical requirement is that is osmotic pressure osmotic means though that is water there must be a osmoregulation between these bacterial cell osmoregulation means proper intake and uh, uh, up to, uh, intake in and out of uh, water from the bacterial cell uh, like cells can uh, cells are 80 to 90 percent water so hypertonic solution and hypotonic in hypotonic uh, in hypertonic solution high osmotic pressure removes water from the cells causing shrinking of the cell membrane that is plasmolysis to use to control spoilers and microbial growth sugar in jellies and salt on meat so these are uh, they can these type of solutes are useful to control the spoilage and microbial growth then uh, just like sugar in jellies and salts on meats then hypotonic solution that is low osmotic pressure causes water to enter the cell in most of cases the cell wall prevent excessive entry of water so microbes may lysed or brushed if cell wall is weak so if more water enters into the cell of the microbe so ultimately it will produce or it will get brushed out so it it helps in control of bacterial or microbial growth then these in this picture you can see isotonic and hypo hypotonic in isotonic there is no movement of water in or out of the cell but in the hypotonic solution water is coming out of the cell uh, into the solution that is high and that is plasmolysis take place the plasma will get brushed out and then effect of osmosis on bacterial cells so due to the osmosis the bacteria cells get brushed out so these are the diagrams showing how hyper and hypotonic solutions are uh, creating uh, disturbance in the microbial growth then th uh, third osmotic pressure a uh, physical requirement then if a uh, optimum osmotic pressure is required for the uh, halophils uh, that is moderate requirement that is 3.5 percent of salt most bacteria in oceans extreme or obligate halophils required high salt concentration facilitative halophils do not require high salt concentration for growth but tolerate two percent salt or more then uh, next uh, chemical requirement uh, next the, these are the physical requirement temperature then uh, pH then osmotic pressure now we are coming to the chemical requirements what are the main chemical requirements are uh, for the microbial growth that is first is the carbon carbon uh, makes the 50 percent of the dry weight of the cells then chemo heterotrophs the heterotrophs the heterotrophs are the organ that depend upon other for their food so chemo means that requires a carbohydrates carbon obtain they uh, obtain carbon from their energy source like lipids proteins and carbohydrates chemo autotrophs and phototrophs obtain carbon from carbon dioxide that is autotrophs that make their own food so they make chemo that make their own food with the help of carbon dioxide and phototrophs that is make their own food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll 
then next chemical requirement is the nitrogen sulfur and phosphorus nitrogen make up the 40% 14% of the dry cell weight in that nitrogen is used for amino acid dna rna uh, for, uh, formation the source of nitrogen is protein ammonium then nitrogen gas that obtained directly from the atmosphere in the form of diatomic form that is n2 nitrate salt so that dissociate give rise to no3 negative nitrates with the help of nitrification process nitrates are formed from nitrogen present in the atmosphere then next is the sulfur first nitrogen second is the sulfur sulfur is used to form proteins and some vitamins that is thiamine and biotin some so the source of uh, sulfur is the protein um, uh, that is uh, proteins then hydrogen sulfide sulfate that on dissociation give rise to so4 two negative then third phosphorus is used to for the formation dna rna atp and the phospholipids the main source of the phosphorus is mainly inorganic phosphate salts and buffers then third other elements like potassium magnesium and calcium are often required as enzyme cofactors jo enzymes ke cofactor hote hain unke liye je hame kuch element chahiye hote hain potassium magnesium calcium theek hai so these uh, calcium is required for also required for cell wall synthesis in gram positive bacteria then trace elements many are used as enzyme cofactor commonly found in tap water that is iron copper molybdenum and zinc clear hai ye kuch trace elements bhi chahiye jo as a cofactor act karte hain jo hame simple tap water se mil jate hain then the most important one is the oxygen that is required for a Uh, organism use molecular oxygen to produce more energy from the nutrients than the anaerobes so on the basis of uh, the requirement of oxygen they classify microorganism that is obligate aerobes and then facilitative anaerobes and obligate anaerobes so then last is the aerobic tolerant anaerobes so let's start with first uh, that obligate aerobes required oxygen to live aerobes means aerobes means that require oxygen so disadvantage oxygen dissolve poorly in water example pseudomonas commonly noscomial pathogen then facilitative anaerobes can use oxygen but grow in the absence of oxygen have a complex set of enzymes like i like e coli streptococcus then yeast and many intestinal bacteria obligate anaerobes cannot use oxygen and are harmed by the presence of toxic form of oxygen example chlorastium bacterial that cause tetanus and botulism then oxygen next requirement on the basis of oxygen next is a aero tolerant anaerobes can these are the uh, anaerobes can't use oxygen but tolerate its presence to oxygen inko chahiye nahi use nahi karte but agar if oxygen is present they can tolerate the presence of oxygen then can break down toxin toxic forms of oxygen aur hamari toxic forms ko kya kar dete hain oxygen ki ko break kar dete hain then next is the example is lactobacillus carry out fermentation regardless of oxygen presence then micro aerophiles that required oxygen but at very low concentration um, sensitive to toxic forms of oxygen like example campy like campylobacter then chemical requirement toxic forms of oxygen are singlet oxygen that is present in phagocytic cells superoxide free radical o2 this is, uh, it is extremely toxic and reactive with uh, to form a uh, reactive form of oxygen all organism growing in atmospheric oxygen must produce an enzyme superoxide diendesmutase 
टू गेट रेड फ्रॉम देम सो एटमोसफेयर में जितने भी ऑक्सी माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म ग्रो करते हैं वो एक इंजाइम प्रोड्यूस करते हैं कौन सा सुपर ऑक्साइड डिसम्यूटेज तो ये इंजाइम किस में हेल्प करता है कि जो हमारी जो टॉक्सिक फ्री डेडिकल है सुपर ऑक्साइड का वो उसे वो उसका कोई नुकसान ना हो ठीक है तो सो एस ओ डी इज़ मेड बाई द एरोब्स फेकलेटिव एनारोब्स एंड एरोटोलेंट एनारोब्स बट नॉट बाई एनारोब्स और माइक्रो एरोफिल्स द रिएक्शन इज सुपर ऑक्साइड फ्री रेडिकल ओ टू प्लस कंबाइन विद ओ टू प्लस टू हाइड्रोजन गिव राइज टू हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड प्लस ऑक्सीजन देन थर्ड थर्ड वन इज द टॉक्सिक फॉर्म ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इज एन हाइड्रोजन पर ऑक्साइड इट इज ऑल्सो टॉक्सिक एंड द एक्टिव इनग्रीडियंट ऑफ सेवर एंटी माइक्रोबियल then there are two different enzyme that can break the hydrogen peroxide so one is the catalase enzyme you can see the example hydrogen peroxide h2o2 with the of catalase break into water and o2 gas bubbles and peroxidase and also breaking hydrogen peroxide plus two hydrogen gives rise to water into water then next these were the chemical and these were the physical and chemical requirement that is nutrition for the microbial growth next is the cultural media culture media that an artificially prepared food for microbial growth in the laboratory so culture medium is the nutrient material prepared for the microbial laboratory requirement must be sterile that is free from microbes contain appropriate nutrients usme nutrient hone chahiye उसको इनक्यूबेट का इनक्यूबेट करना चाहिए करना होगा जरूरी है ए प्रॉपर टेम अप्रोप्रिएट टेम्परेचर पे कल्चर माइक्रोव्स दैट ग्रो एंड मल्टीप्लाई इन और ऑन अम कल्चर मीडियम सो कल्चर हमारा है क्या जिसके ऊपर हमारे माइक्रोव्स ग्रो कर सकते हैं और मल्टीप्लाई कर सकते हैं दैट नेक्स्ट इज द सॉरी देन कल्चर मीडिया इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सॉलिड मीडिया द न्यूट्रेन मटीरियल दैट कंटेन अ सॉलिडिफाइड एजेंट लाइक प्लेट्स लार्ड्स एंड डीप्स सो दिस सॉलिड मीडिया कंटेन अ सॉलिडिफाइंग एजेंट्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ प्लेट्स स्लार्ड्स एंड डीप्स द मोस्ट कॉमन सॉलिडिफाइंग सॉलिडिफायर इज एगार the first used by the robert koch the uniqueness proper uniqueness of agar is it melt above 95 degrees celsius once melt does not solidified until it reaches 40 degrees celsius cannot be uh, ek ek to ye pigalta 95 degrees celsius pe hai aur dusra agar ye ek bar melt ho jaye to ye jaldi hamara solidify nahi hota third ye m- किसी भी बैक्टीरिया को की हेल्प से डिग्रेडेड नहीं होता ये एक तरह का पॉलीसेकराइट है जो रेड एलगी से बना होता है दैट इज़ इट इज़ अ कार्बोहाइड्रेट देन ओरिजिनली यूज फॉर अ फूड थिकनर और इसी किस लिए यूज़ किया जाता है फूड को थिक करने के लिए थोड़ा सॉलिड बनाने के लिए देन नेक्स्ट इज द केमिकल डिफाइंड मीडिया सो दीज मीडिया आर न्यूट्रेन मटीरियल हुज एक्सट्रैक्ट एग्जैक्ट केमिकल कम्पोजिशन इज़ नोन तो ये जो हमारे न्यूट्रेन मटीरियल हैं जो इसकी पूरी एग्जैक्ट कम्पोजिशन नोन होगी फॉर कीमो हेट्रोट्रॉप्स दैट इज कीमो हेट्रोट्रॉप्स मतलब जो क्या करेंगे हमारे कार्बन यूज़ करेंगे ठीक है फॉर देयर फूड और दे मे डिपेंड अपॉन अदर्स फॉर देयर मूड मस्ट कंटेन ऑर्गेनिक सोर्स ऑफ कार्बन एंड एनर्जी उनके बीच में कार्बन एनर्जी का कोई ऑर्गेनिक सोर्स होगा जैसे लाइक ग्लूकोज और स्टार्च और उनके बीच में माइनो एसिड विटामिन और अदर बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स भी होंगे जो जो माइक्रोब के लिए रिक्वायर्ड होंगे सो so, ये ज़्यादा वाइडली यूज नहीं होता और बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सपेंसिव होता है कॉम्प्लेक्स मीडिया है ये 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 जो न्यूट्रेन मटीरियल हुज एग्जैक्ट केमिकल कंपोजिशन नॉट नोन इसकी कोई केमिकल कंपोजिशन के बारे में कुछ नहीं पता होता है ये ज़्यादा हेट्रोट्रॉपिक बैक्टीरिया फंगी के लिए यूज़ किया जाता है मेड बाय एक्सट्रैक्ट्स ऑफ यीस्ट मीट प्लांट एंड प्रोटीन डाइजेस्ट एक्सेट्रा 
इसकी कंपोजिशन वेरी कर देती है स्लाइटली फ्रॉम बैच टू बैच एनर्जी कार्बन नाइट्रोजन एंड सल्फर रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर प्रेमिनली मेट बाय प्रोटीन फ्रेगमेंट्स पेप्टोन्स जो इसकी सारी रिक्वायरमेंट्स है वो कौन पूरी करता है पेप्टोन्स करते हैं देन विटामिन एंड ऑर्गेनिक ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स प्रोवाइडेड बाय मीट एंड यीस्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट जो विटामिन हैं ऑर्गेनिक ग्रोथ के लिए वो मीट्स और यीस्ट एक्सट्रैक्ट से मिलते हैं टू फॉर्म है कम्प्लेक्स मीडिया न्यूट्रन ब्रॉथ है न्यूट्रेन एगार न्यूट्रन ब्रॉथ इज ऑलवेज इन लिक्विड फॉर्म न्यूट्रेन एगार ऑलवेज इन सॉलिड फॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एगार इन इट एंड नेक्स्ट इज द कल्चर मीडिया एनारोबिक ग्रोथ मीडियम एनारोबिक नॉट यूज टू ग्रो एनारोब दैट माइट बी किल्ड बाई ऑक्सीजन ठीक है तो ऐसे ही हमने एनारोब्स को ग्रो करना है जो ऑक्सीजन की प्रेजेंस की वजह से मर जाते हैं बट एनारोबिकली दे आर एबल टू प्रोड्यूज और रिप्रोड्यूज रिड्यूसिंग मीडिया कंटेन इनग्रीडियंट दैट आर केमिकली कम्बाइन विद ऑक्सीजन एंड रिमूव इट फ्राम द मीडियम जिनके साथ में ऑक्सीजन प्रेजेंट होती है उनको रिमूव आउट करना है एग्जाम्पल सोडियम थायो ग्लाइकोलेट दैन ट्यूब्स आर हीटेड शॉर्टली बिफोर यूज टू ड्राइव ऑफ ऑक्सीजन ठीक है जो हमारी ट्यूब्स हैं उनको हमने हीट करना है यूज करने से पहले कि अगर उसके ऊपर थोड़ी बहुत ही ऑक्सीजन कोई प्रेजेंट है तो वो हमारी निकल जाए then प्लेट must be grown in oxygen free container anaerobic chambers तो हमारी जो प्लेट्स हैं वो भी हमारी कहाँ पर होनी चाहिए ऑक्सीजन फ्री चैम्बर में कंटेनर में या चैम्बर में हमें प्रिपेयर करनी चाहिए प्लेट्स देन स्पेशल कल्चर टेक्निक्स है टू ग्रो बैक्टीरिया दैट इज बैक्टीरिया दैट डू नॉट ग्रो ऑन आर्टिफिशियल मीडिया लाइक लाइको बैक्टीरियम लेप्रे लेप्रोसी ग्रो इन ग्रोन इन आर्मा डी डिल डिलोल्स दैन टर्पीमिना पेलीडम ग्रो इन रेबिड टेस्टिकल्स सो दीज आर दैक्टीरिया दैट आर नॉट एबल टू ग्रो आर्टिफिशियली ऑन आर्टिफिशियल मीडियम बैक्टीरिया दैट रिक्वायर्ड हाई और लो ऑक्सीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेवल दैट इज कैपनोफिल्स ग्रो ग्रो बेटर इन हाई कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेवल एंड लो ऑक्सीजन लेवल सो ज़्यादा किस पे बेटर करते हैं हाई कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड लेवल पे और लो किस पे ऑक्सीजन लेवल पे सो सिमिलर इन्वायरमेंट ऑफ इंटस्टाइनल ट्रैक रेस्पिरेटरी ट्रैक एंड अदर टिश्यूज दैन नेक्स्ट इज द सिलेक्टिव मीडिया यूज टू सप्रेस द ग्रोथ ऑफ द अनवॉन्टेड बैक्टीरिया इनकरेज द ग्रोथ ऑफ द डिज़ायर बैक्टीरिया जिसके बीच में जो डिज़ायरेबल बैक्टीरिया उनकी ग्रोथ एनहेंस होती है और जो अन अनडिज़ायरेबल उनकी क्या होती है इनहिबिट होती है ऐसे कुछ हमारे कल्चर मीडिया हैं जैसे सेब्रॉड डेक्सट्रोज एगार ब्रिलियंट ग्रीन एगार बिस्मिथ सल्फाइड एगार दैन डिफ्रेंशियल मीडिया दैट यूज टू डिस्टिंग्विश क्लोनीज ऑफ द डिज़ायर ऑर्गेनिजम्स जिस लाइक ब्लड एगार यूज टू डिस्टिंग्विश बैक्टीरिया दैट डिस्ट्रॉय रेड ब्लड सेल्स दैट इज हेम्योलाइस सो ब्लड एगार यूज़ किया जाता है हमने बैक्टीरियल सेल्स को डिस्टिंग्विश करने के लिए और देखने के लिए कि जो बैक्टीरियल सेल्स को क्या कर देता है डिस्ट्रॉय कर देता है हमारा एगार और हेमोलाइस अपीयर एज एन एरिया ऑफ क्लियरिंग अराउंड द क्लोनी तो हेमोलाइस जहाँ पे हमारी रेड ब्लड सेल डिस्ट्रॉय होंगे वो एरिया बिल्कुल क्लियर दिखाई देगा एग्जाम्पल स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस पायोजीन्स दैन नेक्स्ट ये कल्चर मीडिया इज अगेन बोथ सेलेक्टिव एंड डिफरेंशियल मीडिया यूज्ड बोथ टू डिस्टिंग्विश क्लोनी ऑफ डिजायरेबल ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड इनहिबिट द ग्रोथ ऑफ अदर माइक्रोब्स सेम इन दिस मीडिया द एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस मीडिया इज मैनीटोल साल्ट एगार यूज्ड टू डिस्टिंग्विश सेलेक्ट फॉर स्टेफाइलोकोकस यूरोस देन हाई पी हाई सॉल्ट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट एन ए सी एल डिसकरेज ग्रोथ ऑफ अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स पी एच इंडिकेटर चेंज इज कलर वेन मैनीटोल इज फर्मेंटेड टू एसिड दैन बोथ सेलेक्टिव एंड डिफरेंशियल मीडिया एक नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज मैकोंकी एगार इट इज़ यूज टू टू डिस्टिंग सेलेक्ट सेलेमोला सेलमोनीला 
then enrichment culture it is used for favor the growth of the microbes that may be found in very small number then microbial growth obtaining pure culture contains single microbial species so to obtain pure culture individual organ must be isolated most common method of isolation is streaking plate in which the sterile loop is inserted into the sample and streak up onto the plate in a pattern to obtain individual colonies the group of descendants of the original cells that is colony then bacterial division with the help of binary fission then germination time then cell divides and its population to double that is germination time generation time uh, generation time varies considerably in e coli every 20 minutes in most bacteria divided into 1 to 3 hours on some bacteria required over 24 hours to divide this is the diagram showing bacterial growth how a single bacterial cell getting break, break down and divided into two daughter cells then log uh, algorithmic representation of bacterial growth that is it with the exponential growth of bacteria as the time increases the number of microbe is also increases so bacterial phases of bacterial growth uh, can be studied with the help of this growth curve that is it is divided into four phases lag phase log phase exponential phase and last is the uh, uh, stationary phase lag phase log phase that is exponential phase then stationary phase and last is the decline phase so here this is the diagram you can see in lag phase uh the period of adjustment to the new conditions in this phase no or little cell division occurs but in the log phase that is exponentially the cell begin divide and generation times reaches a constant minimum and period is most rapid growth so in the last stationary phase the overall cell numbers does not increase the cell div division begins to slow down in the decline phase the cells number decreases at algorithmic rate and cells lose their ability to divide this is the graph you can see the lag log and stationary and decline phase in lag phase there is little or no cell division in log phase continuously there is a rapid cell division stationary phase the cell division get stopped and in the decline phase the the cell number decreases at an algorithmic rate and cell loses their ability to divide then direct method next is the measurement of growth here we having direct or indirect in the direct method that is plate count you just with the help of colony counter you can count the number of colonies in the plate and you can count so advantage measure measure viable cells disadvantages take 24 hour or more visible clone to appear it must perform serial dilution to get appropriate number plate this is the serial dilution method how you can easy for, you can make it easy for the plate count with serial dilution then plate count uh, contain that is pore plate method the pore plate method is then just produce 1.0 to 0.1 ml inoculum into a empty petri dish and then add liquid nutrient medium in capacitor 50 degrees celsius gently mix in a lot to solidify and incubate so this is the method in which we just in which we just simply pour the nutrient culture into the plate and then spread plate with the help of spreader uh, spread with the glass uh, with the inoculum spread with the help of sterile glass rod so the advantage is colonies will be on uh, on the surface not exposed to melt agar then this is pour plate and versus a spread plate in pour plate we are just simply pouring on the medium from the flask into the petri plates but within the spreader with the help of 
glass spreader we just spreading or um, the inoculum over the solidified media then direct method of measurement that is filtration used to measure small quantity of bacteria so this method apply for the lake or in ocean waters large samples of 100 ml or more is filtered to retain bacteria filters are transferred in onto a petri dish incubate and count colonies then third most uh, probable number that is used mainly to measure bacteria that will grow not grow on solid medium dilute a sample repeatedly and inoculate several broth tubes for each dilution point count the number of positive tubes in each set statistical method that is determine 95 percent probability that a bacterial population fall within a certain range so statistical methods means you can st use statics different statistical methods are applied to count the number so with the help of statistical methods we can determine 95 percent probability that bacterial population fall within a certain range then direct microscopic count with the help of microscope you just count the number of colonies and you can use the staining method to visualize bacteria. then indirect method that is turbidity with the help um, with the help of spectrophotometer to determine the percentage of transmission of absorption absorption multiply by the factor to determine the concentration or uh, the bacteria multiply in media it becomes turbid so this is no incubation is required this method second is the metabolic activity that produce certain products uh, as the bacteria multiply it produce certain product carbon acid measure metabolic product and expensive the next indirect method is dry weight bacteria or fungi in liquid media are centrifuged resulting cell pellet is weighed इसको सेंट्रीफ्यूज करो और जिसका सेल पैलेट आए उसको आप क्या कर दो वेट कर लो और उससे आप यू कैन एंड डजेंट डिस्टिंग्विश लीव और डेट सेल एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेट यू कैन एबल टू मेजर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द बैक्टीरियल और पैथोजेंस दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द न्यूट्रिशन देन मेजरमेंट एंड ग्रोथ and culture media thank you